Hear all the flack Gaga's getting for her performances she did when she knew she had COVID? No. Yeah. Five. She did five concerts when she was COVID positive and knew it. I don't think it's a big deal. Every time I had COVID, I was sitting right next to you coughing on you. That's true. Just Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction, Corbin. I'm Rick. Did you? You never got it, did you? Still not. Nobody in my uh, yeah. Nobody in this house has yeah. gotten it yet. And everybody else I know has had it at least once. Yeah. At and least. Johnny and I've had it twice. Uh, my parents, all in my four all, years, all my brothers. Yeah. Um, I can't imagine how bad it must feel if you don't have the oh yeah <laughs> vaccination because yeah, it was a bear. Yeah. It sucked. Uh, but some people get it and don't even... Like, my dad, when he got it, he barely had symptoms when he got it. And I was concerned. It's like, uh-oh, this is when his health was really, really bad yeah. in New York. And he, he just... same. Th he's got a constitution like freaking... He just got pneumonia and 10 days later was out and about hitting the dance floors, picking up the ladies. Uh, today we got a congratulations to all we imagine as light for winning the Grand Prix uh, at the Cannes Film Festival. And they would have won the Palme d'Or if it weren't for racism. Am I right? That's it. Am I right? Oh, yeah. I'm just joking. No, we're kidding. Uh, but uh, we've, we were following the whole time. Uh, we can't wait to watch this movie. That's huge. That's huge. If you, don't, if you aren't familiar with Cannes or its impact <laughs> it's on the, things. It, it's the biggest film festival in the on world. Earth. Yeah. Uh, and it means a lot for it's your film daddy. in terms of, one, its distribution, what it might do, let's say, later at the Oscars. Um, and it's it's uh, everything. I mean, everybody in the industry doesn't only just pay attention, but they're typically there Yeah, at Cannes. And every distributor in the industry is there. So it bodes hugely well for everyone involved in the film. So this is uh, something that Brute India put out. Um, it's, a, I think, an interview with the director, Payal Ka Kapadia. Um, and yeah. she's talking about uh, awesome. uh, the whole experience. Great, in Can. great. We're very much looking forward to this. Um, they can't really send out screeners right now because it's doing well at festivals. Yeah, uh, you, can't, you, can't make a you can't make your film public when it's at a festival. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but excited about this. Here we go. I wish that now it doesn't take 30 years more <laughs> for, for another film to come. I took like, like five years to make this film. Even in Cannes, it's just four films, four female directors uh, in competition. Making a film is really difficult. Hi, this is Paral Kapadia for Brute. Lead actress is the lead actress from Briani. that now it doesn't take 30 years Amen. <laughs> for, for another film to come. We had no expectation that the film would be in competition. It's not a very big film. And uh, when we found out, I was really happy and nervous and felt really privileged that the film would get the kind of exposure that can gives it. So it's, uh, it's, it's a mixed feeling of being really nervous and really excited. I feel we make great films in India. In every region, with every language, there are so many directors who are so good. Uh, so I really I can't understand what the what what it could be. Uh, but over the years, also like so many Indian directors, uh, films even in the past, which are considered to be like more art house, like Ritik Ghatak or John Abraham from Kerala. Like I don't think that their films have shown in Cannes also, although they are like phenomenal. Uh, filmmakers in our film history so I don't know what it is and why this is so uh, but so having said that I think uh, Indian films are from every state there is a self-contained ecosystem and we have our audiences and we have our directors being appreciated within the country so maybe can is not something that everybody even knows about <laughs> earlier it was going to be a film more about Mumbai and like women who come to work in Mumbai and make it their home. But over time, 
the film became more about friendship between uh, the women in the film because I think as I grow older, uh, I rely more on my friends and I think it happens to all of us who leave home and move to a different city and it's our friends who kind of become our family. I took like like five years to make this film. In the middle, I made another film. So I generally take a lot of time to do things and or maybe this time it took more time because of the other film that I was doing and also to raise money for this film because it was raised entirely uh, with money from Europe. So it just took a lot of time and uh, I think as you as as time passes, you change as a person, you grow up and grow older and your preoccupations change. So I, I think that all those things come into your film and into your work, whether you like it or not. Even in Cannes, it's just four films, four female directors uh, in competition. And there are, how many women have won also? It's not enough, I feel. I think that there are a lot of women making amazing films and we are underrepresented everywhere. Uh, in India, I think in terms of directors now, there are more and more. Uh, like there are in, in, in the Sandhya Suri also is there. And there are directors like there was Suchi's film also. So I think there are a little bit more opportunities for women as directors. But I think like in terms of cinematography, and sound is uh, two technical departments where I feel we really need more uh, opportunities for women. I started going to film festivals in Mumbai and there used to be three festivals that used to happen. There was one which was Experimenta and uh, I still have their bag. <laughs> and it was a really nice festival which used to bring like really experimental films. And there used to be NIF, which is still going on, which used to have documentary films and student films. And then there was Mami. So you, we used to get like a whole range of cinema. And when you're a student, like you have time. So we used to go for all the festivals. And uh, somehow I started seeing and I was thinking like, okay, there is such a range of things you can think about and, you know, do and so many ways of telling. Uh, then I saw some short films from students uh, from from the FTI and they were really like nothing like I'd seen before. Like They were really trying different things. So I was like, what is this place where students are allowed to, you know, experiment in this way? Should, I found out a bit more about it and then I found out about FTI and um, I was really keen to go and I applied but I didn't get in. And then I, I worked a bit thinking, okay, maybe I don't know anything and I should like, you know, learn a bit more about filmmaking because I was doing a bachelor's degree in economics, so it's nothing to do with anything. And then I started, I, I tried to like uh, learn a bit more and then I applied again and uh, I went, I, I got into FTI and for me those five years were like, uh, like the best learning I could ever have. <laughs> Making a film is really difficult <laughs> and I find that everybody finds it difficult. I'm sure no matter how many times you make a film, it's, it's, it's hard <laughs> but also enjoyable and it's also a privilege to be able to do this. So I'm not, I'm not saying this in a negative way. It is <laughs> an understatement uh, to say that. Making a film is difficult. Yeah. I think it's a Malayalam film. I believe that is correct. The, 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 yes. The main actress is... Mm, yeah, I remember... Um, I, there's there's at least one or two stupid babies who DM'd me about it and said they were proud Malayalis. Yeah, I believe yeah. it's a Malayalam film. Yeah. Um, which, <laughs> no shock. <laughs> that, that's, been singing the praises of that's the that. Film, uh, and you, you've been, and I agree with you, you've been specifically saying if there's an industry that's going to break through in the film festivals and in the art house... <laughs> Uh, mindset globally, in. it would be Malayalam cinema. Not that they're, the other ones don't make no, those No, the films. other ones do make those films. We've seen them in all of the industries. But, but the consistency. Consistency, yeah. and it's very, uh, the way they do it is very palatable for other cultures as well. Correct. They, um, they're really, really good. 
at being very Malayali and very Indian and covering universal truths that yeah. everyone can relate to and and have a broad audience that way. I, I am very much looking forward to this film. Yeah. Um, I hope it has really long legs and makes the waves in not only, obviously, festivals, but into the awards. Um, maybe it'll get a... a foreign film or even a, a main category it could get it. someone asked me that question and said about do i think it would get nominated and obviously we have to see it first yeah hard however to, hard to say without seeing it um the, there's a there's the obvious reality that you have to have which is no matter how good a film is or where it's from its ability to compete in best international film depends on if the country submits it if it's their selection if it's not india's selection for example there's nothing stopping the Academy from selecting it for any other award they want to. They've started to nominate films. Granted, that are it needs to be a, a very special. It has to be very special because. But they've started nominating films and that, a lot of hype. Yeah, they, same with the Globes. They've started to nominate films simply because they're a good film and they got hype. And like there's, Parasite. Yeah, and there's people in the know who are connected to the film, who are connected to the industry. You get a couple of really big people in the industry who love a film. For example, a lot of people don't know it. They think about Brad Pitt as an actor. He's more powerful as a producer. And if he likes a film, the Academy's going to know about it. It's people like that. Yeah. So, obviously, I'm very much looking forward to seeing it. Obviously, that's the first thing. We need to see it first. Yeah. <laughs> before we can really speak on Correct. How, how long its legs are. You know, the standing ovations are funny for me. Yeah. I always love That's it. a big deal at can. Oh, yeah. People love counting the standing ovation. Yeah. So we got a 12-minute standing ovation. <laughs> cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's got to be weird, man. I always look forward to the how long the standing ovations were. Why? Wasn't it nine? It's got to be weird to be part of a film that you've made, whether you're cast or your crew, and you're there, right? Mm -hmm. And they're applauding you for eight straight minutes. What do I keep doing? Yeah, I just... Thanks, everybody. That's why I'm like, I don't even know if it's true. Like, Thank you. Whenever they say these things, I'm like, I think you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> well, Not them specific. I was saying like, one I, it day, happens every year. One day we'll be at Cannes and we'll be able to know if it's true. Can I stop watching out here? That's right. I'm going to do it. We only got a two minute go. standing ovation. Yeah. Deadline said this was eight minutes. It was only two. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's always funny uh, whenever they do that. But very much looking forward. I'm so excited that... Um, the uh, the world is uh, finally realizing it. She was she said it in the thing. She's like, we've made brilliant films for long time, long time, and it hopefully it doesn't take another thirty years for the rest of you to no. realize it. No, it's uh, just a matter of time for for the more people just see the quality of the films. There's films every year that deserve to go. Yeah, from India. <laughs> good storytelling is good storytelling. Uh, no matter what country it's coming from. Unfortunately, even in Cannes. Uh, just like everything else, there are politics involved in, and and, and, yeah. and and money, um, and so <laughs> that would that's I think one of the biggest reasons for a lot of stuff is you know there's just people politicking for Hollywood films to get get in get in. Oh yeah, the that's slots. why it's that's one of the reasons it's so difficult to get in because you're, when you're looking at the top contenders, it can, it's loaded with the powerful. So it's for when you aren't one of those folks or connected to one of those folks. It's insanely difficult to get into cam. At any forget this level. We tried to get what dictators dream about mm -hmm. into cam. Mm -hmm. And they replied back, love your short film. It's great. Just don't have room. Mm. Because only one percent of it, the, they get thousands of submissions. A short film I was almost in was at Cannes. No big deal. <laughs> but wasn't in it. It would have won if I was. Though. It, well, that's absolutely right. The Palm d'Or. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it was great. Looking forward to it. I uh, can't wait to watch it. Uh, let us know uh, what you thought down below. Josh!